This is just a super quick video about AWS CloudFront and specifically I'm going to show you how to enable compression. Uh, so you created a static site maybe like an S3 bucket or something and then you're serving it through CloudFront. So this is what I did. I have a, I have a website that's an S3 bucket and it's being served under this domain. I have it configured in CloudFront to serve from this S3 bucket here and one of the real reasons that you want to use CloudFront is because you can compress files uh, and the, the gzip compression that you can enable in CloudFront will make your website download much much faster to a user's browser if they have the header accept content encoding gzip so the way you do this you go into your distributions you uh, pick the distribution you want to work on and then you're gonna click behaviors you're gonna select the behavior that is your main um, default path you're going to edit that and then it's down here under uh, compress objects automatically you want to hit yes and that's what it'll do it'll look for that accept encoding gzip and it'll compress you know your html your javascript your css files the files that are basically text that are highly compressible so it won't do stuff like compress images because there's kind of no point in compressing a jpeg image since it's already a compressed format but it will compress things like uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. So that's it. All you have to do, go and check this box. It's back under uh, cache behavior, under behaviors. And then it'll be, if you set up the default kind of CloudFront distribution, it'll be this first thing right here. All right, uh, if you liked it, uh, like or subscribe. Thanks, bye.